Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So in this lecture we will discuss a reaction about 5 member heterocyclic compound in acid. Actually the main question we are going to address whether they are acid stable or not means the acid stability of 5 member ring comp 5 member heterocyclic compound we will discuss. As I have discussed in my previous videos there are three types of five member ring compounds if the x means the heteroatom is oxygen that is furan if it is sulfur that is thiophene and if it is nh or nr that is pyrrole okay or derivative of pyrrole so so today's topic for discussion is the reason for their reactivity and for their reactivity how aromaticity contributes and role of different substituents in their reactivity and an interesting topic pyrrole and furan as protecting group i know you will be surprised how but don't worry i'll show it in the video and at the last we'll discuss some re other reaction related to this chemistry in order to complete the understanding okay so i suggest you please keep please uh, make your mind free of different odies sit in a clam place and study Let's start. So before going to details, we should understand their property and in order to understand their property, it is highly desirable that you understand the resonance energy because this is the main, fact, main factor for contributing their reactivity. Okay. So resonance energy is nothing but resonance stabilization energy and in this case, that is the aromaticity. Okay. Aromaticity is a very high resin stabilization energy. So that is mainly contributing factor. So if you look little closely, see this benzene, which has a resonance energy around 36 calorie calorie per mole. Whereas in case of thiophene, it is a 29 kilo calorie per mole. It is a rough estimation in for pyrrole, it is 21 and for furan, it is pretty less 17 kilo calorie per mole. And exactly this thing is their stability order means if you look at the stability benzene is maximum stable then thiophene then pyrrole then furan so from this up to this discussion we can conclude that furan is expected to be most reactive and pyrrole is expected to be the second one and thiophene will be least among the heterocycles because benzene is not a heterocycle so and actually this thing is also reflected in their property in addition if you look at the structure of this compound in case in case of furan there is oxygen in case of pyrrole there is nitrogen and in case of thiophene there is sulfur so since we are discussing about acid stability means stability towards mainly protic acid okay so and this is actually hard in nature so if it is hard it will prefer the hard bases and just look at here that the oxygen and nitrogen are harder in nature so because of this hardness they prefer proton and that is an another secondary reason that they are more reactive towards acid so in conclusion what you have learned two factor responsible one is aromaticity better to say lesser aromaticity for furan and pyrrol and second is the hardness of the present heteroatom is responsible for this reactivity okay so now let's go some examples act generally what happens furan pyrrol uh, and thiophene undergo polymerization in presence of acid polymerization means you may consider that this is a for example this is a thiophene you may consider this is a polythiophene so in this way polymerization occur but uh, that is but under control condition under control condition we can get some selective products for example see in case of furan if you use dilute acid means h plus what it does it produces two product one is 25 type addition and this is actually a 25 type addition and another is 24 type addition why i am saying 24 or 25 see the nomenclature is this heteroatom one this is two this is three this is four this is five so in this case this is two and this is 5 that's why this is 2 5 substitution whereas this is 2 4 substitution okay i shall discuss after some time about the mechanism reason selectivity everything and in case of pyrrole see just look at this in case of pyrrole what we get we get only these 2 5 types addition product 
not substitution i sorry it's my mistake i should say it's an addition product okay and in case of thiophen we get only 2 4 by the way one trend you can clearly observe in this case from here to here if you go down see the strength of acid increases so question why the strength actually strength of higher strength of acid is needed question why see if you look at the resonance stabilization as i discussed previously that thiophene is more stable than pyrrole and pyrrole is more stable than furan and that exactly same thing is reflected here okay so so now we will first we will discuss the mechanism why the selectivity and second after that we will discuss how the substituted heteroatom reacts so let's go first for the furan just look at this molecule furan is in this case for this reaction it is acting as a base and in another case it will act as a nucleophile so first of all it is acting as a base so react with proton and first and second what will happen the proton will act as a electrophile so this proton will act as a electrophile and undergo aromatic electrophilic substitution by the way i have discussed aes on five member heterocyclic rings i shall provide the link please visit those videos for your better understanding fine so what can happen we know that the substituted heteroatom uh, the ele aromatic electrophilic substitution can occur two position means this is actually c2 and this is c3 both possible but actually the c um, but actually the c2 attack C2 attack is less favored compared to C3 attack. Why? Because this cation is resonance stabilized. Means how the resonance stabilization occurs? See, this lone pair involves and this bond comes here. So, this and positive charge comes over this oxygen and these are the two hydrogen. Now, interesting point is that in this case, all atom are octet filled. Okay, if all are octet film is stabilized, so this is the thing. That's why this canonical form is more stable. But you should write this as a more stable canonical form. Fine. So this now, but in case of furan, the aromaticity or delocalization is not that much high. And this thing you have observed in case of resonance energy, because resonance energy low means the electron delocalization is poor. So these two form. Means this one and this one, they have significant contribution in the reaction medium. Consequently, what happened? They both result in products. Okay, just focus first. Discuss on the uh, this uh, C three substitution. Okay, so this C actually remember that substitution aromatic electrolytic substitution on five member heterocycle is favored over C two substitution. I guess I have uh, told the wrong previously. The substitution occurred on the C2 such that cations come at the C3. Okay. In case of indole, this is the completely reverse. I have discussed in a lecture. Please visit for better understanding. So, what happens? In this case, this is actually an electrophile and furan in this molecule acting as a nucleophile here. So, this is actually nucleophile. So, what happens? Aromatic electrophilic substitution, it attacks here. And ultimately, I am not going to sigma complex those things. After reaction, it will result in this product. Fine. So this. Now, but reaction doesn't stop here. The action continues. Why? See, this molecule, this is actually an enol ether. What do I mean? This. And this enol ether are prone to protonation. Means, after proton, means they attach to proton and what they produce? they produce this cation proton attached here i am not focusing other part okay so and after that this is resonance stabilized with this lone pair means this is the hydrogen and positive charge comes on oxygen and that's why every atom got octet filled so in this way this is stabilized that's why it reacts very faster now a question may come in your mind that why sir sir there is furan present and there is enol ether present why furan do not undergo reaction uh, means with proton means aromatic nuclear substitution and furan didn't happen rather than reaction on enol ether happened this is because if you want to do aes on furan you have to lose aromaticity 
okay but in this case aromaticity is not lost that's why that is reaction is faster due to no loss of means no loss of aromaticity or better to say energy of activation is less because the loss of energy delocalization is lesser fine so in this way what we get in this case one two three four five two five addition okay now look at this another one in this case what we got in this case in this case we got this substituted product okay fine now similar way just previous i have explained this will undergo protonation okay first of all then the cation will come and this is resonance stabilized cation then another molecule of furan will attack here and ultimately it will end up this 2,4 addition type product okay so now another important thing from this can you predict which one is oxidized and which one is reduced see previously what we have taken furan where there was ch bond okay in case of ch simply i am telling simply think carb hydrogen is plus one carbon is minus one whereas if you compare cc both are zero so what happens this furan part loses one hydrogen and bought CC single bond form. So this part is oxidized. Okay. Whereas if you look at this part, actually this part got aromaticity gone, addition occur, and that is a reduction. So this part we can say that this is reduced. Okay. So in this way, this part is oxidized and this part is reduced. Fine. Now let's go to the mechanism for the pyrrole. See, remember just some time before we discussed that pyrrole is not so unstable, not so stable, intermediate. So, its reactivity is intermediate, means it is lesser reactive than furan. Okay, but more reactive than thiophene. Now, what happens? See, in case of furan, both possible means AES on C2. So, this is C2 and this is C3. Now, question is this C2 this c2 substitution this part this is highly resonance stabilized okay so if it's resonance stabilized then the charge is delocalized over this so consequently if the charge density is less reactivity is less now you can think it in this the other way that in this case delocalization is less delocalization less so more reactive we know that more stable means less reactive so this is less stable so more reactive consequently what you can expect that it will react faster whereas it will be in the reaction medium but it will not react and remember this arrow protonation reaction actually are reversible so in this way this this protonated this substituted can revert back to few uh, pyrrole and then can convert into this okay so in this way reaction will go on and by similar mechanism just i have discussed in case of furan similarly it will undergo this this is 2 this is 5 this 2 5 addition type product okay by the way see this is actually a enamine previously we have discussed in case of furan this is actually a enol ether and this is a enamine means in plus amine in means the double bond and amine you can see this part okay so this will react for another interesting point is that means when the reaction will occur means when the addition will occur the addition occurs in the antid site see in case of one furan this from the proton position you can think that one proton is up another is down means one furan this furan is actually up and this is actually down this happened because in this way it can minimize the repulsion okay fine so now let's go to that discussion about thiophene so from the beginning i told that thiophene is relatively more stable because of higher aromaticity first of all and second the het sulfur heteroatom which is reluctant in protonation so relatively drastic condition compared to furan and pyrrole is essential that's why I see 90 degree centigrade. So, 
and another when a substrate is stable means a substrate is stable means it is a less reactive and less reactive means very selective so its selectivity is mainly responsible for its substitution and as i told before c2 substitution is more favored as the carbocation at c3 is highly resonance stabilized okay the same thing that's why first aromatic electrophilic substitution occurs and the three by the way don't get confused that in this case this thiophene moiety attached here doesn't mean you have to say that thiophene substituted no actually the reaction started from proton substitution so you have to think from that perspective otherwise you may be confused that sir you told c2 substitution but right now i am watching that this thiophene attached at c3 how no actually i told aromatic electrophilic substitution means electrophilic substitution on aromatic nucleus that is thiophene and the electrophile is the proton so we have to think from proton's point of view although it is not directly highlighted fine so similar way similar way reaction will occur after protonation similar this is actually a better to say in this condition this is enol ether not this is enol thioether okay so after that it will react with thiophene and finally it will result in 2,4 addition product so we have understood the basic mechanism by the way student i suggest you people please remember please understand these examples clearly because based on this example many mcq could be constructed point number one point number two in this case for example furan please uh, try to understand and remember that to uh, this two pyrrole which got attached are anti so an mcq could be constructed what is the actual structure of the product two sin two anti one substitution no reaction in this way or polymerization four option could be given so please be careful because any from anywhere question may come fine now let's discuss about the examples on substituted heterocycles five member heterocycles for that purpose i have selected this 2,5 dimethyl furan okay so here the this one part is substituted and now in case of aqueous acetic acid and point aqueous acetic acid and 0.3 percent hbr relatively dilute condition and by the way an interesting question in case of aqueous acetic acid and 0.3 percent hbr which will act as acid obviously hbr will act as a acid means it will release the proton and that proton will react because hbr is a stronger acid than acetic acid fine and what actually happens ultimately one four dicarbonyl compounds by the way you may be little confused that sir in case of, okay we'll come uh, in case of furan sorry in case of pyrrole it needed hydroxyl amine actually hydroxyl amine hydrochloride and sodium carbonate is needed because this hydrochloride salt we have to neutralize to get the final nucleophile that is this hydroxyl amine and reaction is carried out in ethanol as a solvent and ultimately result in this one for dicarbonyl compound derivative actually this is an oxime okay so in this case furan is more reactive you can see that relatively less drastic condition is capable to achieve the target than pyrrole because of its lesser stability that is lesser aromaticity and but one thing remember for pyrrole this is another thing if you keep pyrrole in presence of acid it cannot destroy pyrrole but it undergo poly polymerization one of the example is when we prepare when you try to prepare porphyrin so when we try to prepare porphyrin it is recommended that pyrrole must be distilled why because pyrrole undergo polymerization and some polypyrrole is there but for your reaction you not need monomer of pyrrole okay so that's a different issue just as a parallel information i keep it in mind now a question may come that we have previously studied that this 14 dicarbonyl compounds this 14 dicarbonyl compounds are source for the preparation of five member heterocyclic compounds now question then why this is important just it is important based on the availability of that reagent okay i shall come after some time based on the availability first just learn that how this reaction occurs okay 
so just furan 2 1 4 dicarbonyl compound how the reaction occurs let's take furan means the substituted furan dimethyl furan and if you react this with proton both possible i forget to mention in this case both possible this and uh, protonation here positive charge here both possible okay now let's discuss the first one next step what happens that these undergo resonance stabilized then water molecule reacts so how water act as a nucleophile because see just look at this part this is a activated carbonyl type okay so water act as a nucleophile and it attacks here it opens up so ultimately what it results this after proton exchange now next stage what water does in presence of acid because what happens this acid proton preferred to protonate double bond because resonance stabilized so what it does this double bond got protonated means what thing you may think like that this is OH this is Me and this is the protonation after double bond so double bond adjacent positive charge so means in the second step what will happen this positive charge will be neutralized by the lone pairs what do i mean means this positive charge will come and right now see the oxygen is having positive charge and this facilitates the ring rupture means this oxygen lone pair pushes it comes back so in the here one so in this way we got this okay just in one step i have displayed the whole phenomena that's why it may be confused in short if i explain that this lone pair will push this bond will come here and the electron pair will abs be abstracted or quenched by a acid h plus so ultimately it will result this and after removal of this proton this is nothing but a 1 4 dicarbonyl compound now interesting point interesting point is that uh, if you if the reaction happens in this way how it will go so first of all protonation second so it has a canonical form canonical form means it will push this double bond will go so what it will result this is oxygen this is hydrogen this positive charge is here so similarly positive charge will be quenched by this lone pair similar fashion i am not going details then in next step what will happen then in next step this here the water molecule OH water will attack and OH will be attached and in the meantime there is one possibility that these undergo tautomerization means this proton will abstracted this and this proton will means this proton will be shifted from here to here so what will be the consequence consequence is that this is O double bond will be here this is the methyl and here is the proton of our interest fine now question why see in this case this double bond is its conjugation with this oxygen more stable fine and in the next step see whatever we wanted the exact thing we got in this case so this will follow the same track and ultimately end up this one ultimately end up this one for dicarbonyl okay now question as i told that we have previously discussed that one four dicarbonyl compound are actually precursor for preparation of furan fine that's agree mm -hmm. but there is an another very good route to prepare furan from sugar actually if you look at the if you look at that uh, chart that what happens furan is prepared from c5 sugar c5 sugar plus s okay so after that what it result it results in furfural five member after decarbonylation it resulted in furan so this is actually a agro based product okay so you can this is a agro based product so it could be used as a sustainable source for preparation of 1,4 dicarbonyl compound now by the if you want any substituted derivative then you can do substitution here also you can do substitution here also or you can do substitution here also based on your requirement so this strategy is 
important or logical from sustainable chemistry point of view also okay okay fine so let's go to the discussion about pyrrole see similarly as i told pyrrole is a little less reactive because of its higher aromatic stabilization and so aromatic electrolysis substitution we have understood that it, in case of pyrrole reaction occurs here because previous example 25 addition because this part is not here this part is more reactive other part that is positive charge on this center is not that much reactive because it's highly stable fine so what happens here in this case the hydroxylamine act as a nucleophile question why hydroxylamine because of its higher nucleophilicity and why higher nucleophilicity just look at the hydroxylamine molecule it has adjacent lone pairs okay so this adjacent lone pair results in lone pair lone pair repulsion lone pair lone pair repulsion and which results in the increase of homo energy so homo increases homo energy increases that's why this is more reactive as a more reactive and it is a very good nucleophile so that's why it attacks here so after that it results in this and in next step what happens that this pushes the lone pair just the previous example and this comes here and the additional electron is abstracted by the h plus fine in this way by the way if you feel any difficulty in understanding let me give you a step wise how first of all after this push thing what it does it does this is the hydrogen this is the double bond noh fine i always suggest that write as it is don't need to think bond are proper or not because if you do in this way the probability of mistake will be less and this is nh2 okay so this is actually a enamine derivative this part and this can undergo uh, tautomerization means one proton from here means one proton from here could be shifted to there and what it will result ultimately it will ultimately result in imine and imine are derivative of carbonyl and in presence of acid this nitrogen will be first protonated and its new electro deficiency or electron deficiency will further increase on this carbonyl compound carbon additionally we have a very good nucleophile that is hydroxylamine so it will react okay so first this is a addition product will form and the ammonia molecule will be eliminated just simple like a sheep based reaction so in this way ammonia molecule will be eliminated and it will result a oxime of 14 dicarbonyl compound okay this so actually in this case we are not getting directly 14 dicarbonyl compound but oxime okay so this is the thing and if you do further hydrolysis you may get the 14 dicarbonyl from this reaction fine now the interesting point is that that pyrrole can be act as a protecting group how so previously i have discussed in my previous lecture about reaction of thiophene sorry furan in presence of ammonia or ammonium salt whatever actually ammonia is the main reactant ammonium salt is a source because they are solid ammonia is gas so in the through this reaction furan could be converted into pyrrole and the driving force is aromaticity because i have shown at the beginning that pyrrole has a greater aromatic stabilization than furan so reaction will happen it will produce so that methodology is utilized here so this is c actually a uh, ammonium salt so this is nothing but a simple nh2 okay so what it will do so this part will be sub will substitute this a mechanism i have discussed in the previous video i shall provide the link please visit so what will happen this oxygen will be replaced by the nitrogen and ultimately it will result in this okay and why base is needed see it was a hydrobromide salt means acid attached to amine so that is quenched by this qh fine now in the next step what is done we have used the anion of dithion actually this is acting as a nucleophile okay and this is the bromine is a good leaving group so it attacks from the back side via sn2 process and this bromine leaves and ultimately what happens dithion attached but see there was an another proton and that is further abstracted by butyl lithium 
and then similar anion is produced means what do i mean this is the pyrrole derivative this is the sulfur just uh, this is the again the minus charge okay so that reacts with methyl iodide why because methyl iodide is a very good substrate for SN2 reaction. Less bulky and iodide is a good living group. So, similar SN2 reaction occurs and ultimately it will end up in this. Now, just the previous methodology. Hydras, hydroxylamine hydrochloride ethanol, sodium, bica, uh, sodium carbonate reflux. What it will do? It will eliminate this part as 1,4 dicarbonyl compounds oxime derivative fine and the amine will be there so what we are getting this now a simple question may come why do we need this strategy see previously this is actually this is the salt for react what is the actual reactant this is the br and this is the nh2 okay so this is br this is nh2 and if you want to react with any nucleophile like this butyl lithium derivative Okay, so first of all, one equivalent of butyl lithium will be wasted because hydrobromide salt. So if you can't start with hydrobromide salt, you have to take the amine. Now, this minus charge will abstract the proton from nitrogen and make it a NH minus derivative. Okay, NH minus derivative. So in this way, it will convert it into this. Now, if it converted into this NH minus derivative, then it can act as a nucleophile maybe intramolecular reaction difficult because four member ring but intermolecular reaction possible so lots of combination permutation possible and chemist in laboratory always prefer selective reaction okay selective reaction and protection deprotection chemistry is needed in order to have selectivity so that's why we can't go directly we need this much steps to get the final product fine okay so so uh, from today's discussion what you have learned we have learned that furan pyrrole and pyridine undergo polymerization easily in presence of acid due to the pi excess nucleus and electronegative heteroatom because see in case of furan pyrrole six pi electron which is a response which are responsible for aromaticity distributed over five atoms that's why they called pi excess Okay, so that is the reason and furan is most reactive for this uh, reaction with acid because of due to lesser resonance energy, better to say aromaticity. Okay, furan has least aromaticity among furan pyrrole thiophene, that's why it's most reactive. And furan could convert it easily into 1,4 dichloroclamate source of furan. As I told, it's an agro-based product that is C5 pentose sugar. From that we can have furan, from that we can have pyrrole. And from furan, thus using this acid uh, ring rupture process, we can have one foot dicarbonyl compound, which is a very important synthetic intermediate. Not only heterocyclic preparation, other reaction also possible. Okay. Another interesting thing is that protection of primary amine could be achieved by pyrrole formation from furan and further ring rupture could be done in presence of hydroxylamine because of its extremely high nucleophilicity that is alpha effect fine and the final thing is that selective protonation on this five member heterocyclic ring possible under mild condition and remember chemist always want selectivity because we don't want very high reactivity we want very high selectivity and that is very important that is very important for chemical reaction because see think that in a reaction you prepare five product and one of the product is third product is your target product then you have to do tedious separation process but if the reaction is selective it produces only one product then how life becomes simple and when you people will be a scientist in a lab always try to find out selective method for that purpose you may need to study little more put less reaction but before putting a single reaction, study properly, think properly, design properly and ask an important question. Is it selective or not? If it is, then please go ahead. Okay. So this is the end of this discussion. I hope this lecture may be useful for you. If it is really helpful, then please like this video and write your opinion in the comment box. And if you think it's worthy, then share the video with your friends so that they can also enjoy the benefits and most importantly 
please subscribe this channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single every new single video i upload till now stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video and the most important thing smile always because we need to live our life happily okay so take care see you in my next video